really trying to take the day off. <laughs> and guess what I did? I've learned that I really enjoy shopping for groceries. I am sticking with Instacart Publix. It's a perfect marriage. <laughs> March. Hello. And I wasn't going to do a haul today because I'm, I'm today I'm really trying to take the day off. <laughs> and guess what I did? I, I did an Instacart, but then when I got up, I decided, well, I need to mop. I need to vacuum. I need, so I'm cleaning house. <laughs> Something I didn't really want to do today, but things have to be done. And I'm the type that can't stand being around dirty house. So had to do some cleaning, but I didn't go out shopping. I had put on my clothes, ready to go. And I had given my husband my debit card and um, to the account for groceries. <laughs> and he hasn't. So, and he's not here. So that changed a whole lot of things. I was looking forward to going out shopping because I've learned that I really enjoy shopping for groceries. Um, I was a uh, fellow YouTuber was on, that was what we were talking and I, I uh, Risa, Risa Richardson, I don't know if any of you watch her, but, and I, and she was saying that she loves doing that too. And I think it's because of the love that you have for your family and you want to supply them with food and take care and cook and do it. It's about being a mother and a, and a wife and a family, a, you know, a home, a homekeeper. So you like to be good at that. And I like blessing people with good food and, 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 and different things. And I like for them to know when they are hungry, thirsty or whatever, that it's there, that I have supplied them with what they need. So enough chit chat. Let's get into this haul for today. And this is a very small haul. I didn't need that, that many things. I needed stuff, of course, for my meal prep for this week. And um, I went yesterday and picked up snacks and stuff like that from another grocery store. <laughs> so I did go out shopping, but just didn't do a haul on that stuff. But here we go with my small haul for Saturday. Over here, we have some potatoes, some gold potatoes. And if you haven't tried gold potatoes, you really need to because they are delicious. I like to cut them up and roast them in the oven, but they have a natural butter flavor to them. They're just very good and my family loves them. So you see them a lot in our meals. I don't normally do them for meal prep because it takes a whole lot of peeling and cutting and peeling and cutting to do enough for meal prep. But I usually do them on Saturdays and Sundays when I make meals for them. And it and it's a big hit. I just roast them. I put them in, uh, cut them up, put olive oil on them, or or grapeseed oil, or avocado oil. Those are my three oils of choice. And um, then I season them with garlic and pepper and and um, mix them up onion flavor, mix them up and put them on a pan and roast them in the oven and they are yummy. Down here we have some squash. I have zucchini and yellow squash that I'm going to be preparing for um, meal prep this week. That's what we're going to be having with that. Um, the squash. Over here, this is just two burgers. Um, ground chuck that I bought today for Saturday meals just for me and my husband to have uh, something for dinner and then we have some air fried butterfly shrimp and that's for me for a quick meal in the evening because not many and nobody else in the family really loves seafood like I do so most of the seafood and fish that I buy is mine only <laughs> my husband will eat it but it's not one of his favorites here we have the spicy chicken patties for their lunches and, and snacks or whatever. Um, we have some chicken strips, Tyson chicken strips. I like Tyson 
chicken the best. Have some uh, imitation crab, of course, that's for my salads, and I already have salad mix and stuff in the refrigerator. We have some Tyson chicken breasts and some Publix brand drumstick. And for this week, we're gonna have barbecue chicken for meals and um, probably yellow rice or or um, white rice, some kind of rice, because they always want rice. <laughs> so here we have the golden stuff, the eggs. I <laughs> got those today. But um, I used to do, for meal prep, I used to do um, like a souffle type egg a dish. What what is a uh it's there it's like a uh quiche kind of. I used to do those little egg bite things and make those for them to have for uh breakfast. But when eggs prices went up, I stopped doing them so much. So we do eggs only for Sunday breakfast <laughs> right now. And then I boil some eggs usually for my chicken salad and tuna salad. There's a barbecue sauce for the barbecue chicken. Some seasoning back there. Um, we have grapeseed oil. Some fruit. We have pineapple and uh, watermelon. And then some plant-based butter that I use because I'm lactose intolerant. So I use that instead of regular butter because it's easier on my belly. Back here, we have the pizza crust that I used to make my pizzas. And this time, I'm trying some boar's head pepperoni. And uh, instead, it's a little uh, different and more expensive. Boar's head is a brand of meat that Publix uses, and it's delicious. Mozzarella cheese for the pizzas, of course. Up here, we have our regular bread. Over here is a special treat for my husband. He loves the Martinelli's uh, apple juice. And if you've never tried Martinelli's, you will never drink a different, another kind of apple juice once you start drinking this. It is the best, but it is expensive. So it's a special treat for him. And of course we have water. And I told you that this was a small haul. I actually said I wasn't going to even do a haul because it was so tiny, but um, this is just a catch-up week, and um, this all ran about $150, maybe. It was $140 something, but with the Instacart, of course, you have to pay a tip, so, and but Instacart is doing very well for me. I'm not going back to Walmart. I am sticking with Instacart Publix. It's a perfect marriage. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Of course, as you might have seen out the window there, it's a beautiful Florida Saturday. And I'm going to finish up my house cleaning and probably going to sit out on my patio and have a great evening watch some YouTube and read my Bible or my books or whatever I want to do. But you make sure you have a wonderful day. Love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace.